A local neighborhood has been the scene of several recent bicycle thefts. A mountain bike has just been stolen, and two suspects have been identified. Fortunately, a hair was found on the broken bicycle chain at the crime scene. In this investigation, you will use gel electrophoresis to make a DNA fingerprint of each suspect, the owner of the bicycle, and the DNA from cells on the hair. You will then compare the DNA fingerprints to determine to whom the hair belongs. Explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. You must click on each item in the checklist. Once you are ready to move on, click Procedure, Agarose Gel. Use the wells in the Agarose Gel to load DNA samples. Smaller fragments of DNA travel through the gel more easily than larger ones and, over a certain length of time, travel farther. DNA markers. DNA markers are DNA fragments with known lengths. Digested DNA samples. Four DNA samples have already been cut into fragments by restrictive enzyme electrophoresis chamber. Electrophoresis takes place in the electrophoresis chamber power supply. Use the power supply to produce an electric current in the electrophoresis chamber deionized water. Use the deionized water to rinse the gel after it is stained with ethidium bromide. Bromophenol blue. Use the bromophenol blue to see how far the DNA samples have moved. Bromophenol blue is a dye that travels with the DNA samples in the gel. TBE buffer. Use the TBE buffer solution to help carry an electric current. TBE buffer is added to the gel in the gel box. Gel staining tray. Use the gel staining tray to hold the agarose gel for staining after the DNA fragments have been separated by electrophoresis. Ethidium bromide. Ethidium bromide is a fluorescent dye used for staining DNA. Micropipette. Use the micropipette to transfer dye and DNA samples. Pipette tips. Use a clean pipette tip before transferring dye or DNA samples to avoid contaminating the samples. Ultraviolet light box. Use the ultraviolet light box to help read the gel after it is stained with ethidium bromide. In this lab, you will produce a DNA fingerprint from cells on a strand of hair found at a crime scene. You will compare the DNA fingerprint of the evidence to the DNA fingerprints of the victim, suspect 1 and suspect 2. Open the lab notebook and explain how comparing DNA fingerprints can help identify a person who has committed a crime. Once you have written your explanation, click the arrow to advance to step 2. The agarose gel is in the electrophoresis chamber. Click the TBE buffer to cover the surface of the gel with buffer. Once you have covered the gel with buffer, click the arrow to advance to step 3. Click the micropipette to load the bromophenol blue dye and mix it with a marker DNA. The mixture is then ejected into the marker DNA well. Once you have filled the marker DNA well, click click the micropipette to load bromophenol blue dye and mix it with the victim's DNA. The mixture is then ejected into the victim well. Once you have filled the victim well, click the arrow to advance to step 5. Click the micropipette to load bromophenol blue dye and mix it with suspect 1's DNA. The mixture is then ejected into the suspect 1 well. Once you have filled the suspect 1 well, click the, click the micropipette to load bromophenol blue dye and mix it with suspect 2's DNA. The mixture is then ejected into the suspect 2 well. 
Once you have filled the suspect too well, click the click the micro pipette to load bromophenol blue dye and mix it with the evidence DNA. The mixture is then ejected into the evidence well. Once you have filled the evidence well, click the arrow, click the power supply to connect the electrodes and produce electric current for one hour. Notice that the negative electrode is closest to the wells and the positive electrode is farthest from the wells. Drag the gel from the electrophoresis chamber to the staining tray. Click the flask of ethidium bromide stain to flood the gel and allow it to stand for 30 minutes. Click the staining tray to discard the stain. Once you have stained the gel, click the arrow to advance to step 10. Click the deionized water to rinse the gel and allow it to stand for 30 minutes. Click the staining tray to discard the deionized water. Once you have rinsed the gel, drag the gel to the light box and click on in order to read the gel. Open the lab notebook and record the estimated size of each band of DNA. To determine the length of the evidence DNA, the victim's DNA, and the DNA from both suspects, compare it to the marker DNA. Once you have recorded your observations, click the arrow to advance to step 12. Record this portion in your Google Doc.